Whoa. Piece of cake. That was graceful. Buckle up. We're in for a bumpy ride. Today we're getting stuck into some Kaliji culture and what better way than to learn about the art of camel racing. I've always found it fascinating the love and passion that Emiratis share for camels and the sport, but as an outsider I've always found it quite difficult to get involved. My mission is to learn camel racing and to be able to enter a race and luckily for me I found a racing team that are willing to teach me right here in Marmoon in Dubai. street is that there's a ladies camel racing team that's causing a big stir. So I've come here to the Arabian Desert Camel Riding Centre to see what it's all about. How long has camel racing been a tradition in the UAE? In the UAE maybe this hundred years now. Hundred years? Yeah. I am Abed Jum'a Al Filasi from Dubai. I worked in the camel maybe this uh, 13 years now. I have maybe um, 15 camels, all for race. So how much would a camel like this cost? Like this one, maybe this uh, 100,000. 100,000. Because there's two times winner. Yeah, there's two, one, two races. Yeah. You're very proud of, of, of the winners and how they're succeeding. Yeah. I'm going to have to save up for a long time to ride a camel of my own. It's a big business. He got suspension. He does, so, <laughs> so you know, there's a bit of a saying between the Arabs, they would say, this is a Land Rover, he's a good camel because he's so smooth. Right. So Hero is the type of Land Rover camel. Land Rover camel, yeah. all right. He was a race camel previously, and then if he's, you know, uh, retired from his active racing career, mm. but he yeah, has been really uh, obedient or, or, you know, very, um, uh, what to say, well trained, he would stay around to train now the other camels. Yeah. Plus also, if he's a very comfortable camel, that's now a really important factor when you have a, a riding camel, obviously. Yeah. Once we're out there, we learn the, the walking and the trotting, because right, right. you want to get ready for the race, right? So we have to pick up some speed. Hi, I'm Linda Krockenberger. I'm the uh, head of the female racing team here in Dubai and uh, I'm training the students at ADCRC. On a horse, you're usually taught exactly to hold on tight versus on a camel. We really have to absorb that movement and let go of it. So right. instead so of relax exactly, more. instead of holding on, we'll be teaching you how to actually shuffle your legs, maybe flop your arms and all sorts right. of things. So you're kind of <laughs> Yes. Floppy noodle. Yeah, exactly. Like this, so relaxed. I started um, camel riding myself uh, about two, two and a half years ago, uh, and I realized how hard it is to find access to the sport, but at the same time, how rewarding it is to work with that type of animal. And especially being here in the Middle East, it seemed to be the logical thing to to explore um, camel riding. And uh, because of the lack of access, I felt really driven to open my own place um, to, to bring that um, yeah, facility to other people here in, in the country and especially women because at the moment it's a very main male dominated uh, sport and uh, yeah, we needed some place to, to train so we had to open one. This is Hero? Yes. Okay. We have a camel here called Hero and we say he's the alpha, you know he's a, he's a big boss and he likes to be the leader and he likes to make sure that he, he gets all the attention and gets all the photographs taken of him. My name is Katie, Katie Higgins, and I'm from Ireland. And I am recently a new student here at the Arabian Desert Camel Riding Centre. 
and I've been doing it for a couple of months now and uh, getting a bit rowdy here. <laughs> uh, they're getting too excited for the camera. So this is the camel that I'm going to be racing today. This is Hero. Um, Hero, are we going to do this? Are you going to, are you going to be nice to me and help me around the track? So when you race camels, do you race the males or the females or both? No, different. Male different, female different. Different categories? Yeah. Okay. At the moment there is no category for women. To make it a female only category, you first need enough females to open a category. So it's a bit of a chicken and egg situation. At the moment we have um, yeah, four, four to five girls ready to, to race. Uh, we want to get to 10 to 12 and then we'll be able to uh, host our first official race, uh, hopefully by next season. I love the passion these girls have for the sport and their determination to enter races. But can they teach a clumsy fool like me how to stay on a camel? That's the big question. We need to um, start with what goes around his belly first because yeah. once he's sitting we won't be able to tighten it, right? Up. So the hump is in the middle. Yeah. That's on the lower back of the camel and this is on the front. Right. So this is this is where I'm gonna sit. Yeah, exactly. Okay. How do we get him to sit down? Okay, in, for the camel to sit, you tuck his uh, chain around the nose and you say, ach. 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 Does yeah. it mean anything? It's his command to sit, I, don't, I wouldn't know if it is. Right, so I just put him down and go, ach. Yeah. Ach. 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 Yeah. And then we roll it tightly. And just put Gives Please, a bit of lift at the back. Yeah, so it Stop gives you, you from falling. Exactly. So, how old is Hero here? Hero is 10. 10. And um, he's is now a, retired. He's retired. How fast can yeah. people get up to on race mm. camels? Up speed is between 40 and 45. 45 kilometers yeah. per hour. Yes. Wow. On the back of one of these, <laughs> foot high in the air. Yes. Um, so, and what might we go to today, do you think? I think we might um, get to 20. Yeah, 20 is a it will be a very fast trot and um, a comfortable trot is around 10 kilometers to 15. Right. 20 is, feels like exercising. Yeah. So um, we'll try to touch on 20 yeah. just to get you into the movement and uh, because this is what you need eventually for the race. Okay, all right. I mean, they're much, much taller than horses as well. So that was something to get used to. And naturally when you climb up on a horse, you wrap your legs around, but here with the camel, they sit down for you first and then you climb over. So you have to get used to that position of getting up from the ground. So when you're sitting on the ground, you're like, oh, this is okay, you know, this is fine. And then, <laughs> you know, they just get super big. Excellent. Piece of cake. You got that it. That was graceful. This was starting to look like one of the craziest things I had ever done. Holding onto a camel by my knees as it starts to take off for 40 kilometers an hour. What had I got myself into? We want to make camel riding obviously accessible to more people uh, and that's, that's why we have the facility, we, we open the school, we host the trainings, we host them in a way um, where you don't need any additional you know, skills beforehand, you just come and ride and we guide you through by attaching you first to another camel and then slowly you gain confidence until you're ready to go race. So Guy in Dubai is ra racing with us later and we won't single anybody out, he has a very high chance of winning. Okay, buddy, look, this is serious. The stakes are high. We've got this, all right? We've got this, okay? The girls are looking pretty confident, but us boys, we never lose, all right? You know it, you know it. Okay, I'll see you out there. We will see how he gets on. As long as he connects well with his camel, keeps his position, keeps his balance, well, who knows, he might beat the rest of us. <laughs> well, I got what I wanted, a camel race. Be careful what you wish for. That would be an appropriate phrase. So. I challenge the girls to a race, 500 meter sprint race. 
now they're getting quite competitive about it and they look like they know what they're doing. I'm competitive about it, but I've got no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to have to hold on for dear life and I don't even guarantee that I'm going to get to the end. But you know what? I'm going to take the risk and I'm going to give it a go. So let's see what happens. Well, the moment of truth was upon me and there was no looking back. And all I could think was, hold on for dear life. So, I was off to a good start, but then the girls overtook me. And as they got further and further away, and smaller and smaller, and even smaller, I was left in their dust, still hanging onto a camel by my knees, hanging on for dear life. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good race. That was good. You were fast. It was quite scary, but I think you just have to go 100% or you don't. <laughs> good. Thank you so much. That was incredible, really. Woo. Well, I may have lost the race and my backside is going to need at least a week to recover. But I've learned about a piece of local culture that I can now truly love and appreciate.